So today I'm going to be doing a drugstore makeup tutorial. Um, I was going to try and do all else products, but as I sat down I realized I really didn't have anything in that. So it's basically going to be all elf products, but there might be another couple drugstore products. Um, just a bronzer and like an eyeliner that I'm going to use. But other than that, it's all elf. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. I did already do my brows and I used... Um, just my Chella eyebrow pencil, but from e.l.f. I used their clear brow, um, they have a clear brow and lash mascara. This side is for your lashes. I have not used that yet, but this is for your brows, and I really do like this. Um, I apply it. I use it with, like, my Anastasia, um, promenade tube. I just apply it to my lashes before, and then it helps give it something to stick to, and it really keeps my lashes in place all day so I'm very impressed with this I think it was a dollar but let's go ahead and get started so I don't have a primer from elf um, I have used their clear one I just don't have it I thought I did but I'm gonna be using the Nivea shave balm I'm going in with the e.l.f. under eye concealer and highlight. It's a duo. This is the highlight and this is the under eye concealer. I did use this the other day because I wanted to see how I felt about it. Um, and I seem to like it. It's very creamy. I didn't really notice it like caking under the eyes or anything like that. So I was impressed with it. It seemed to cover pretty well. It blends very easily. Then I'm going in with their foundation today, and I'm going to be using two of the moisturizing sticks. Um, I've never really used this stick foundation before. I do like these. I've used these, I think, every day for the last week just to get a feel of them. Um, I have a little bit two different shades. I probably should have got one just a little bit darker to do this technique. But I'm going to be doing the darker on the outer sides of my face and the lighter on the inner parts of my face. But these are very moisturizing, just like they say. Um, I do notice it transferring really well, like, because I, I have to wear glasses on the computer. And, so I really notice it, like, coming off, which I was not, I don't like that aspect of it. But as far as the actual foundation and how moisturizing it is, and the way it applies, I like that. You just definitely need to set it with a powder because you can touch it and it's going to come off. Then I'm just going to blend this in with my beauty blender as well. And I'd say it has light to medium coverage. And I like that I can barely feel it on my face. It's very light. Then we're going to go in with their illuminating palette. This was $3, I believe, and I'm going to be taking this shade here. Um, I did check before, and I don't really see any shimmer in this shade. I'm going to be using this to set my concealer. And where is my e.l.f. blush? I'm going to be taking the e.l.f. tapered brush and using this with this powder. I use this all the time with everything to set my under eyes. This, pat or this brush is amazing. I love how it's tapered, and the shape of it is perfect for just getting up underneath there. And I think this brush was $3. Then I'm going in with a bronzer, and this is not by e.l.f., but it is a drugstore. Um, it is the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. I bought this at CVS. Um, I'm sure they have it at Ulta, too, but there was a little $4 off coupon when I repurchased it. So I did get it there, but I really love the smell of this. I saw it in one of Kathleen Light's um, video. I think it was a drugstore haul that she did and I had to go pick it up so I went and got it the next day just because she said the smell is amazing and it is and I really love this product too. It's a butter bronzer so it's very like soft and buttery and very easy to blend and I love the shade of it. It's 
not very dark and for right now when I'm more pale that works perfectly for me. I don't want anything too crazy, just a little bit of color so I don't look so flushed out. Then I'm going in with my e.l.f. blush palette. This was $6 as well. Um, I really do like this palette. It's very pigmented though, so you really have to be careful. Excuse me. This is in the palette, the light one, so you really have to be careful because of the pigmentation to apply it very lightly or you will get some intense pink just blush on your cheeks and it's too much. So I'm going to be using this shade here, the more natural kind of brownish warm shade and just applying that with a blush brush just very lightly onto the tops of my cheeks. Then for my highlight today, I'm going to be using the Illuminizing Palette again, and I'm going to be using another e.l.f. brush. This is the Flawless Concealer Brush. I use this um, basically like if I have more of a creamy highlight, this is why I got this brush to use it. I really like this brush, but it works well for other highlights, just powder as well. So I'm going to be taking this kind of pinky um, light shade and using that today for my highlight. That's actually pretty nice. I really do like that. That's not bad for $6. That's a pretty good highlight. And it doesn't really, which I don't have very large pores, but it just goes very naturally into your skin. I think if you did, it probably wouldn't make them like stand out like some highlights do. Then I'm going in with my eyes, and I'm going to be using this 32-piece um, eyeshadow palette by e.l.f. I got this, I think it's normally $10 or $12 that I got it on sale off of their website. I think it was 6 when I purchased it. So we're going to see how these work out. There's a lot of shimmer shades in this. There's not very many matte shades, but we're just going to go in with this light shade right here. And use a blending brush just to help set the powder under the eye area. And we're going to take this brown shade right here. We're just going to really define that crease area. I actually am pretty impressed with these eyeshadows. They are coming off really easily and blending. They're not really creating any harsh lines. I'm going to be taking that darker shade right below the one we just used and adding that to the outer edge of my eye just to get on give it more depth and make it a little bit darker, more smoky. I'm going to be using that same smudger brush. Then just blend it up into the crease area. Just halfway. Okay, and then for the lids, we're going to be using this pink shimmery shade right here in the palette. And I'm actually going to, I think I'm going to mix it with this one here as well. Looks like that one has a little bit more shimmer to it. And just applying that to the lid. These shadows are probably, I mean, I wouldn't say they're the greatest, but it's definitely, you can see the shimmer on that lid. And I mean, it's applying pretty evenly and well. So I'm pretty impressed with this. Then I'm just going to be taking, going back to that smudger brush and I'm bringing down the two brown shades that I used on the top of the eye underneath. And there I see some fallout. So since we applied that powder before, your fallout should just pretty much easily wipe away with a little brush. I'm going to be using that same tapered brush. So these definitely had a lot of fallout in these shadows. So you might want to apply them before anything else, even though they weren't too intense. I really didn't use that much. And I'm not bringing those dark shadows all the way in because I'm going to go in with those two shimmer shades that I used and apply those to the inner corners. Then I'm going to go in with a blending brush and this one is from Luxie and just blend those creased colors out to make sure there's no harsh transitions. Then I'm going in, I do not have a mascara by e.l.f. I don't know that I've ever used an e.l.f. mascara, but I'm going in with the L'Oreal Telescopic 
Carmen Black mascara. I really like this. Um, I love the little brush that it has. It's really small. I don't think you can see it there very well. But it's great for applying it to your bottom lashes as well. And now I'm going to apply some lashes. These are from e.l.f. Um, e.l.f. is actually the first lashes that I ever tried to use because I've never done lashes before. So I was like, I'm going to go buy some cheap ones, and these are a dollar. So um, I tried them with these, and it's been a while, so I don't really remember how I liked them. And it was the first lashes that I've ever used. I don't really have anything to compare it to. But me using these today, these are the Natural Lash Kit. Um, there's a number on here, 1713. I don't know if that's the lash number, but it's the Natural Lash, lash Kit from e.l.f. So I'm going to be applying these today. Um, I will be back in a second. Hey guys, so I don't know if you can tell, but I did not put any lashes on. I'm sure you can. That was terrible. I tried the glue that came with it from e.l.f. One stick on my eyes. I tried my um, Adele. Well, lash glue, one, one, one stick to my eyes. I don't know, I think it's because whenever they come in the package, like they're on that shape like all lashes are, but whenever you pull them off, they go straight. Like that lash was just perfectly straight and I brushed around my finger, left it there. It would not get any shape to it so it would not stick to my eyes. Terrible, but anyway, no more e.l.f. lashes for me. This is from e.l.f. though. This is one of their, I think it's new, it said it was new on the package. Touch of Nude Lipstick. It is a Barely Beautiful Satin Lipstick. I love this. I love the shade of this. I love how creamy it is whenever I apply it. This is my new favorite lipstick and it was $3. It is... Sorry. It is amazing. I love... It's so just creamy. You don't have to use a liner. It applies so beautifully. And it just gives your lips so much moisture. Um, I don't really notice it lasting very long, so that's the only down point of it. But I love this lipstick. I love the color. I love the way it looks. But this is the finished look I did for you guys today. I really like the way the eyes turned out. Just very subtle, natural look. Um, that's kind of how I feel like this whole makeup look went. But I really do like it. Just for every day, just a very natural look and um, subtle face. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you back every Tuesday and Thursday. I hope to anyway. Please don't forget to hit that like button down below and please subscribe if you enjoyed this video and want to see my guys. See you next time.